What's up guys? Welcome to another Build to Break Garage episode. Today's episode, I'm gonna be making a new splitter for the red sled. This car, for anyone that's interested. And I, the reason why is the first one that I made, you can see here, is made out of wood. And yeah, it's starting to peel and get weak towards the back. Yeah, I should have made it out of a different material, but at the time all I could find was wood. But now I found a new material at Menards that I'm gonna go pick up right now. And to be able to get it in the car, I'm going to have to use my power inverter and my cutting wheel. And we're gonna cut this bitch up and then fit it in the car and come on back home. And uh, start working on getting a splitter made for this car. So go along with the journey with me. All right, well, we made it to Menards, as you can see. And I've already picked out my material. It is a big black sheet of FP or FDPE black sheet. It is a plastic-like material. It's got a nice edge on it. One side's flat. But now what we're gonna do is we are going to pick up the power inverter and we are gonna cut it. So it'll fit in the car. So the piece I need is like five and a half feet by three and a half feet. So uh, yeah, gotta cut it down. Well, after all that cutting, still wouldn't be able to fit the whole thing into the car the trunk way so I came up with a different solution luckily it's not too cold or rainy out today because yeah I just am sticking it out the rough it'll at least get me home and uh, hopefully I don't freeze my ass off on the way there so I'll see you guys when we get home Okay, and just like that, we made it home. Everything is in one piece. Now to move some cars around the garage so I can get the red sled in. So hopefully one of these nights, I, when I can't sleep, I can work on it and get it all together. So uh, let's move some cars around. First up is Joey's 240, which uh, that should be an interesting startup. So let's hear that. I got the cars moved around, I got Joey's car out front, and as you can see me, I got the red car in the garage now. Great news about the splitter, I definitely cut it with plenty of room to be able to copy what I have. So, this project, um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the base thing as a template, and uh, hopefully it turns out good. So. But now I've got the red car in the garage so I can work on it if it's 12 o'clock at night and I just can't sleep. So it's always a plus. I'm going to leave it off here for you guys. More than likely I'm going to go ahead and jump to the day that I end up actually making the splitter because this video is probably going to be like too short. But uh, if that happens, I'll uh, see you in a second. Welcome to day number two. Uh, gonna go ahead and get started here today and hopefully I can finish this up before work. So the first things first is that front bumper needs to come off so I can take off the current splitter that's on there and use that as my tracing pattern. Gotta get this front bumper off and it's been a while since I took it off so I gotta remember how to do it again. It's not as easy as other Saturns. There's actually bolts and stuff I have to take off which kind of sucks but at least on the passenger side since both bolts broke I have zip ties holding this side on, so that makes it a lot easier for me right now. But uh, yeah, so enjoy watching me take off this bumper. Alright guys, well, I uh, got the front bumper off, as you probably could tell from the time lapse, and uh, I got the lip off. 
I accidentally cracked a portion of it uh, when I was taking the bumper off, but that's why we're replacing it. So I got it laid on top of the sheet that I'm going to be making the new one out of. And so the next thing to do is to trace this one, make some marks, cut it out, and then I gotta try to figure out how I'm gonna paint this thing. It might just be black for right now, but uh, yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get the trace in, and get this thing cut out, and hopefully I can get it to look as good as this one did. Yeah, we'll see. So enjoy watching this. Alright, well, I got the rough, or I got the shape actually cut, uh, the piece cut, and this one looks even nicer than the last one. That's really cool. I already got the edges all ground down to get rid of the burn or the melted plastic. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit it with the DA, try to scuff up as much of it as I can, get it all nice and flat, and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and paint it red. I'll probably wait until after work to throw it on, so. Fingers crossed it looks good because uh, it'll be about 10 hours before I find out uh, if it looks good or not. Well, I got it all sanded up and uh, planed out as best I can. I even tested it on the bumper and it looks good. One side's a little bit longer than the other, but eh, whatever. For the other one wasn't perfect either, but it's, it looks good enough. Uh, especially for this car, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it all down with an alcohol or wipe it all down with alcohol and get all the contaminants off of it, and then I'm gonna spray it red. So, and then that'll be it until after work because I'm gonna let it dry for a while before I manhandle it. So, you might notice I'm not painting the bottom side. One, you'll never see it, and two, this stuff is like so shiny on it, or so shiny material that. I don't think paint's gonna stick to it anyway, so the top portion's uh, like a rough section, so that I think I can get paint to stick to, but the bottom, is, I don't think there's a way at all. But I'm gonna go ahead and throw, throw, this some, uh, throw some paint on this. That'll be uh, it for a couple hours at least, but uh, enjoy watching me paint. This is always fun in a time lapse. All right, well, I got the lip into, I got the lip into color match. Got it all red. It's not really shiny, as you can tell, because of the texture of the plastic, but at least it's the same color as the car. And if anyone is curious, Sunrise Red by rust is a pretty damn close match to Red Saturn's. It may be a couple shades off, but it's like, I mean, it, for being that it's out of a spray can that you can buy at any store, it's pretty damn close. If you ever need to repaint on a red part on a Saturn, Sunrise Red on rust -Oleum. I'm gonna let this dry up a little bit. I'm gonna throw a little layer of clear on it just for the hell of it. And uh, then I'm gonna wait until after work and come and install it. Okay, so on to day three. I actually came home from work and passed out. So today is Thursday and I am going to get this installed. Yeah, then I'll be done. So finally, enjoy watching this get put back on. Hopefully that time lapse worked. Uh, my GoPro decided to die today, so I had to use my phone as uh, in a mode that I haven't used before. So hopefully it looks good. But anyway, I got the car all completed, back on the ground. Front lip is perfect, actually. I was wrong about it being a little long on one side. It's about even on both. I think it looks really good. I'll get some video of it outside of the garage uh, in a little bit, and uh, that'll complete this video. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, be sure to give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll be seeing you in the next one. Peace.